Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed to our channel, press the subscribe button. In this video, we are going to learn how to use non-linear analysis in SOLIDWORKS simulation. So we are going to do non-linear analysis on this spring. Static analysis is just we will apply force and in result we will see the stresses. But in non-linear analysis, you can see the Result with respect to the time. So the time factor is in the nonlinear analysis. So what we are going to do is we will apply force of 500 on this phase and we will fix this phase and we will see the displacement and stress is generated in the spring. So first of all, you have to on this SOLIDWORKS simulation professional from here then go to simulation and now from here you will select new study from here select non-linear static analysis Click ok so now first of all go to properties and select automatic stepping from here it what it will do is your solver will automatically adjust the time of your analysis so select automatic auto stepping and from here we are going to apply the material so the material is alloy steel now what we are going to do is we will apply the connections select this and select this space and select no penetration now what we will do is we will select this space and this space and select no penetration now what we will do is we will go to the fixed geometry and we will select this geometry or we will first of all select this space to be fixed now we will go to the advanced fixture from here select cylindrical face so we are going to select this cylindrical face and we will restrain the radial and circumferential direction so we can so we can analyze the result in the axial y direction select ok now we will simply apply the force On this face, we are applying 8500 Newton force. Select OK. Go to mesh. Go to create mesh. And from here, select curvature base mesh. Select OK. So our mesh has been created. You can also check your mesh quality by using create mesh quality plot at aspect ratio. And you can see that our maximum aspect ratio is 5.03. We are get, getting aspect ratio much higher at this. So you can also check the properties or details of the mesh from here. So you can see that our percentage of aspect element with this spec ratio less than 3 is 99.7 so it is good for us now simply what we will do is we will run the study select this select ok and now wait while your solver has been solved
so our results have been generated you can see that we have stress here displacement and strain we will go to edit definition and we will select floating from here and from here we will select in mega Pascal select ok now you can see we have maximum stress of 1306 mega and we will animate this to see our results now you can see that with respect to time as our force is applied it is coming down and results and stress is increasing so our result have been calculated in certain steps you can analyze your result on every step like this so if you want to see the displacement you can see the displacement from here that it is 23 millimeter formed or we have 23 millimeter displacement like this you can also animate the displacement now you can see that we have maximum displacement at this phase so this was our tutorial on solidworks nonlinear analysis simulation thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our videos